Shared Tanzania's mission is to help children in need. Founded in 2014 with the Uchiwa Children's Fund that so far helped over a thousand children out of child labor into school and the Kilimanjaro Animal Rescue that shelters and rehomes stray dogs. In 2015, Feathertail Children's Village opened its doors and is now home to nearly 60 children with special needs, some of which are living here together with their single mothers who find employment or further education opportunities in the community too. At Feathertail, the children receive full-time care, medical assistance, physiotherapy, educational classes and some of our children even started going to school too. In 2016, our Center for Street-Involved Children named Angelsgate was founded. Angelsgate is home to boys who have spent many years of their childhood living alone on the streets. Often, the boys lost their parents and were forced to live on the streets at an age as young as six years old. Angelsgate is unique in its approach. The boys are cared for by so-called big brothers, which are male social workers, nurses and caregivers. We find that the boys need positive new role models and we have had great success so far. Next door to Angelsgate is our music and art school that gives space for the children to find healing and passion. This school is run by a local artist and musician and has even helped boys who live on the streets to come and live at Angelsgate. Lastly, there's Keeper Peo House, home to children aged 2 to 12 years. The children that live here have lost their parents and do not have any relatives who can care for them. Some of the young children have even lived on the streets caring for themselves at an age of 3 to 5 years. Keeper Peo House gives a home to children that are able-bodied as well as special needs. We have seen great success in this inclusive approach and the children love empowering those among them that are less able. Whilst we always do our very best to keep children together with their families, most importantly for us at Cher Tanzania is that children who have nowhere else to turn to find a home and become part of an unusual but nevertheless loving family that we all are here. Most often, stray pups in Tanzania have to face the most horrific experience. Nearly all of our rescues are severely malnourished when we found them. And we see it as our sole purpose and duty to provide these stray pups with a safe haven, a place where the rescues find immediate medical attention, food, a warm and cozy bed, exercise and training, a place to call home for the first time. So John, just tell me a little bit more about your vision to become more sustainable. Is a dream of my own, which is to have a blueprint for a self-supporting charitable community like this one. Which means instead of constantly asking for donations throughout the life of your charity, you can set a benchmark. We need to fundraise this much to create a community that supports itself. Certainly the sounds the way forward to go as far as becoming self-sustainable, you don't know what funding you're, you're going to get through the door from day to day. So yeah. if, you, if you know that you've got potential of creating your own funds here in Tanzania, then it's a safer way to go about things, isn't it? Over the years, many of you know I have used this channel to be the sole source of promotion for the work that we do to bring God's love into this world out in Tanzania. Up to now, using the publicity from this channel and the love and kindness of those human beings who are among those watching, 
We have managed to build a special needs community, a village dedicated to the care and support of special needs children in crisis. Some of these children come from the most horrendous backgrounds and thanks to that village and that community that we call Feathers Till, a great deal of love and healing has been provided in their lives. Our family in Tanzania is now made up of nearly 200 children who were in need of a loving family home. And I'm just making this to say thank you to everybody who supports what we do. Thank you to everybody who shares what they can, be it time, resources, uh, fundraising and creativity found there. Thank you. You have made the foundations of our family possible. And it is through you guys and your love and support that we are able to bring this spark of God's unconditioned love into the world. If you want more information on our projects, please visit www.sharetanzania.com.